welcome back. I am the mayor, still. You know, I'm sure they'll be demanding elections at some point. Look at all the little yellow cabs. We are like New York City. Slightly. We're like, you know, the suburbs of New York City, if they were a little bit more seedier and had a lot of casinos. One thing we can do is we can add a sign to the gambling headquarters. Oh, we'd have to crush someone's house. Well, you know, we don't get a sign. <laughs> Fine, we're not having a sign. Everything's still just as pink as it always is. Uh, Joker Retail. That is odd. Oh, so you just got like a card. Is it just me? Go for broke shop. Oh, God. But has everything gone sort of casino-y? Like, I don't know if, like, I don't know. I see this as a roulette wheel on the chicken buckets. But, honestly, I really don't know. It's like, it definitely didn't look like this before. And you got the dice. It sort of looks like the whole town's got, like, a casino theme on it. It would be pretty nice, since that is what we're known for. Now, last episode, if we get right down to business, last episode we discussed building a new sort of mecca of gambling of varying degrees of fanciness somewhere that isn't the slum. Like, we could put it here or there, <laughs> heaven forbid, sewage island. But, you know, casinos are very expensive, and what we don't have is uh, tourists. Like... Let's be real, we're making what? Ridiculous sums of money. But, you know, we haven't... Well, actually, we kind of have filled up the casino. Or we haven't filled up the lodges. We don't have many lodges. Yeah. We need a better way to get tourists in. Because I don't know how they're getting here at this point. Driving in from nowhere? But, you know, trundling in these little yellow cabs? Oh no, you're just a child. I want all the cabs. Going to hotel, see? Where are you all going? Checking out the sights. Where are you actually coming from? How do you get here, you guys? I'm really concerned. Like, you seem to trundle from this casino to this casino and sort of cluster around there in your yellow cabs, but where actually are you coming from? Ooh, 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 there. There's a yellow cab heading out to the ci like city. Well, I say city. Out of the city, really. Well, yeah. So the yellow cabs, they come in from somewhere outside. So I think we need a way to get the tourists in. Because we can have the Department of Transit now. And we can build a wonderful piece of transit to get the tourists in. The only question is where and how expensive. Uh... So if we go to the transit menu, passenger train station, I don't think so. We want tourists, not like a useful commuters. We can have this airport. It's kind of large. And honestly, I really want to put it here in the slum because that's where the casino is. And we've got that one over there. But that's sort of a mini casino. And maybe, you never know, we might move this casino later on and cluster all the casinos in one area. Because I think if we're gonna do this, we need a Las Vegas Strip, not like a casino in here and a casino here. Like, because really what this is about is trapping the poor in an endless cycle of gambling. And this area is not that poor anymore. It's really gentrified a lot. And that's no fun for anyone. So I think maybe if we crush part of the crappy shopping district to build the crappy airport district, and then crush part of the slum to build the Las Vegas Strip, we might have a good thing going for us. We just don't have any money. That's the other drawback of the plan. What do you want? Factories? Again? God, where are we gonna... Well, you know what? There's only really one place we can put the factories. And that's a uh, sewage island. So I guess we're gonna take our first step over to the place where the ground is brown. Oh God, hold your noses, people. We live in a chemical world and uh, it's a bit poisony over here. So yeah, 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 have some batteries. There you go. If the workers come home dead, that's not my problem. Uh, so I guess we just gotta wait till we have loads, loads of money, really. 
So I'm gonna cut the video, I think, because I don't think you wanna stick around whilst I wait for money. Uh, that would be pretty boring. Okay, we are back. We've got our new building, the municipal airport, which did uh, crush quite a significant majority of the low wealth district. Uh, we did sort of half our whole population of the town. They're fine, they'll find new places to live. It's fine. And I know what you're all thinking, you've crushed so much of the slum, but what about, but what about, don't worry, we still have House of the Holy. We could never destroy this sacred place. There are people crowding around outside, waiting to see the messiah, the donut messiah, who gives them donuts. I haven't quite worked out the kink in how our um, donut based religion operates, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, have we got to say yes already bridal? I swear we've had them before. Why am I just starting to hallucinate? I'm just remembering episodes that never happened. We have so many taxis driving around now. And one thing I think we might need to do is, um, would you guess, crush more of the slum. Because, um, really we don't need houses on the Las Vegas Strip. So basically what I'm saying is, get out. Like, I know you're like, eh, but you kicked us out of the crap zone into this slum and now you're kicking us out of the slum. That's just how city government works. Clear off, you're no longer welcome. This is now the Las Vegas Strip. I'm very sorry for all the pain I probably caused you, but also I'm really not sorry and I don't care. Uh, we can add some more shopping up here by the airport. What a cool area to do your shopping. And I guess if you want to live in the slum, the slum is now here. Um, we have relocated, you guys. It's it's brilliant. We're kind of by the water now. I'm sure that will not end up being crushed for waterfront property one of these days. It's fine. Move in. Your homes are so secure despite all the evidence that suggests that your homes are definitely not secure. Uh, yeah, you can all be shops. Yeah, clear off, clear off, all of you. Get out, bye bye. No longer welcome in the town. Uh, come over here, come over here, guys. Wow, we just, we're back down to 4,000 people. That's appalling, we killed so many people. You know, that we have 12,000 and now we're at four. And I see you, residential building, get out. Ah, oh dear. We're definitely morally grey, at best, in this town. And for some reason, the zoning has gone weird again. I'm gonna have to crush this stupid road because it's having problems. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Makes me angry. Makes me want to crush you. Oh, and now some residential zoning has appeared. This town is definitely cursed. I think we have all the evidence. You know, the haunted roads, the uh, weird happenings, the fact that I ended up as mayor. Now that bit is weird, but I can't even destroy that because it's next to the coal mine. What if I destroy the... He came very close to destroying the coal mine. Uh, yeah, definitely built this place on ancient Indian burial ground. Not to worry though. Everything will be fine. Go on. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Commercial, commercial everywhere. Yeah, clear off you, building a little house. You're too close to town hall to be um, building terrible stuff like that. Get out. And also, I guess what we can do is start to wealth up the commercial now that it's not slum. Because we obviously don't want everything to be crappy around here, especially the bits that's behind the town hall. This is a luxury area, you guys. What if I put this fountain in? Will that change your preconceptions on what this area should be? Obviously, you wouldn't want to make it too wealthy that the House of the Holy is forced to move out. That's a holy place, you guys. Right, so we'll leave that develop and uh, hope more people come to this town. Maybe we've scared them off for good this time. Let's see if we get any hotels. That's what we really want. Tourists and that. This casino is doing well. It's doing better now we push the poor. What about this one? Even worse, this one's doing terribly. I think it's the church. They're angry that I've, uh, you know, denounced God and moved on to donuts as my religion. Well, you know what? You're just so picky and choosy, aren't you, church? 
I just want you to be happy for me, you know? They never understand. We've got some more giant food. We've got another giant chicken bucket. Pizza, burgers, whatever that is. Guns and things. You know what, for this town, that is incredibly fitting. I can only imagine that when these people aren't buying pocket bagels and uh, holy donuts, they're just buying weapons to go shoot up, you know, the bakery. Because that is, in essence, what this town is about. We're a bunch of food-crazed morons. A predator grill, grill and tavern, excugus. It's just all oh, got your goat pets. It's either food or weird stuff like goats and you know places to get loans to buy more food and goats. Oh, we've got bagels, lotto and liquids. George's team plays the burgers again. Cross the road chicken burgers number four. We've got more than four. I can tell you that. Pizza faces place which already has no shoppers. Bagorks, uh, Hickory Dickory Docks, or do you sell clocks or something like that? Sweet Justice, more George's Burgers, ribs, ribs, and more ribs. Jesus Christ. Like, must be so fat in this town. Like, every episode of My 600 Pound Life is filmed here. Dr. Vu's Fried Chicken. What is it with chicken and pizza and all that? I love it. Like, we've got some proper establishments over here, bigger ones. And, uh, Florid floral shop. Honestly, you're really not spacing these buildings out. You could fit like a whole other building if you just shuffled up a bit, but no. This place, however, it's got shoplifting in progress. <sighs> Surprise there's not a shootout. Um, Pioneer Twin Screens, the Maxis Super Llama. Very impressive, I've got to say. And this, Ocean Pictures, plagiarism. What are you? Bounty store. Boring, boring. Right, how's this airport doing? It's clogged up traffic, that's what it's done. Four tourists. Four? Ah, one's arriving. Five. Five tourists. Five? This is appalling. The $85,000 I spent on this airport. And all it's done is cause traffic problems in the slum. Uh, we got a plane though, isn't that cool? Maybe we need to expand the airport. Maybe we need flashier, nicer things. Cargo terminal? Sure. Yeah, why not? Actually, no. You don't need a cargo terminal. The factory's over there. They have their own cargo thing. It's somewhere around there. It's that thing. This is for tourists only. Yeah, passenger thingy. Have another one. Have two. Do you want another runway? There. Do you want a sign so people know where to come? To get on a plane? There. We now have the biggest, fanciest airport for a town of uh, 6,000 people. Where the traffic is awful and we like to uh, kill the poor. Honestly, not the best. Not the best. You're just going to funny colour again. Not enough factories. I just killed half the workforce and you want more factories? God, they never learn. They never learn. You know what we could do? We could upgrade this from dirt track. That would probably uh, entice some more people into the town. You never know. What are you? Cagro Foods. You've got two factories. Well, I suppose we need a lot of food in this town. Smoke. A smoke factory. That's basically the uh, technical skill we've got in the town. Recording. It's all very... You know big now isn't it and not particularly interesting bank of m we have a giant food banks or international airport now possible this airport gets 12 tourists i don't think we need an international airport i hate to break it to you i'm gonna burst your bubble there well it's safe to say that uh, we completely destroyed this part of town, both uh, physically and culturally. Well, at least people are now trapped in the casino. That is a great development, really. They're just stuck here now, heading home. I don't think so. <laughs> you better stay. You actually can't get home because of the traffic problems. Well, you know what? It's basically the end of the episode, but I've got to fix this. I can't let this slide. How are we going to fix the dragon? I can only think of one way. 
to get out of this area other than that road. And it involves going to Sewage Island. And really, I've, I've got to say, I'm not surprised that this is where it's come to. Because this road, right, this road that goes here is the longest road in our town. It goes here, it comes round here, past the casino. It loops round here, through the apartments, past the grocery store, up round here, past the second casino, and back here to the coal power plant. This is basically the Route 66 of our town. It is the, uh, you know, highway that serves us all. And we can't have it clogged. So I'm gonna crush you up, you know, smash you to bits. That wasn't really the right street to smash. I'm gonna funnel the traffic round. No, I'll just, we'll just go straight ahead. We don't need to cut any corners here. How are we gonna get over there? I might cut the video just whilst I have a think. Right, this area now has it all to be the greatest slum of all time. We've got a road that's completely congested, a noisy airport, a little bridge for them to deal drugs under and all that. You know, looming towers, I'm making stacks, and we've got this bridge right over here on the Sewage Island Expressway to connect this city once and for Here they come. Bring on the tourists. Next episode, we're going to build the biggest, fanciest casino and I'm going to put it right on your shopping area. Doesn't have as good a ring to it this time.